So in this video, we're seeing the mantis shrimp about to get really angry at a tiny shell. Hi, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and I'm about to get curious again. I'm here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and I'm gonna talk to my friend, Dr. Kate Furby, about mantis shrimp. <laughs> they have to get really mad to eat. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Mantis shrimp are amazing creatures. All right, so you're gonna tickle it with this paintbrush. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna, it's probably gonna smash it. We'll see if we can record it. Ooh, <laughs> that was a good one. That was like a, I think it struck with both oh of Oh my it. gosh. <laughs> the moment that they hit lasts a fraction of a millisecond, which is why this footage was captured by scientist Maya DeVries at 20,000 and 40,000 frames per second. There are hundreds of different species of mantis shrimp. Got it. And they live all over the world. It's kind of crazy how prolific they are. And they come in like all different sizes and all different colors. And these shrimp are smashers. So they have what's called a raptorial appendage. That's this modified claw. I first heard about mantis shrimp in a viral video by Zay Frank. True facts. And I don't know about you, but this animal just keeps popping up. So one thing finally convinced me to make a video about them, and that was the force mystery. In the early 2000s, biologist Sheila Patek was studying the force of a mantis shrimp punch. She found that they were capable of, get this, 200 pounds of force, which is like me setting a rock on your finger and lightly jumping on it. Yeah, I could probably break it. But even more strange, she saw that there were two spikes in the force graph, one for the initial punch, probably, and then something else was going on. The mantis shrimp punch is fast, obviously, but how fast? Unfurl as fast as a 22 caliber bullet. In fact, as strong as a 22 caliber bullet. With the force of a 22 caliber bullet. At the speed of a 22 caliber bullet. But what does that mean? The acceleration of the claw is similar to a 22 caliber bullet. Acceleration! That's what's going on. Come on, guys. Pull as fast as a strong as with the force of a the speed of a 22 caliber bullet. Pull it together, y'all. The acceleration is like going from zero to 60 in 0.2 milliseconds. In fact, the claw gets up to 45 miles an hour. Hit a shell with that speed, and you'll get one nice force peak. Hit a shell with that speed in water, and something else will happen. Looking back at DeVries' footage, there's one frame where something shows up, right there. It's a bubble. The crazy acceleration and force cause cavitation, which is this. The bounce back causes the club and the shell to move apart so fast that they leave behind a tiny area of very low pressure, approaching a vacuum. But when you drop the pressure real low in water, what happens? Water in the cup, yeah. Vacuum pump is on, pressure is oh, going down. Oh, you see it boiling. Oh, look, 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 yeah, yeah, it's boiling. What? Water is boiling. Oh, that's sick. When does it start boiling? This water is still at room temperature, but when you decrease the pressure, the water boils. So you have low pressure, and then the water boils, and then you get a vapor bubble, but it doesn't last very long. Almost immediately, the bubble collapses, and when it does, Energy and light are released in a violent process, violent enough to cause the second force peak in that graph. It's caused by cavitation, and the temperature in that bubble gets up to the temperature of the surface of the sun. Right, the temperature inside of a tiny bubble as it implodes next to a tiny shrimp. Small and fierce. So why are these animals so aggressive? So the, the, the mantis shrimp are actually, they eat a wide variety of things in the ocean. But in that group of things that they eat, a lot of them live in hard shells. The fact that this smasher type of mantis shrimp eats a wide variety of things, including prey in hard shells and soft-bodied prey, is actually a very new finding of Dr. DeVries. So the mantis shrimp is really good at smashing shell open. They're also quite territorial. Like the more aggressive they are, the better footage they get. Got it. Um, and so it's pretty funny trying to like, you're either trying to make the mantis shrimp like,
feel hungry, so it smashes the, claw the shell, or you're trying to like make it annoyed. I like, get out of my yard! Yeah. Can you do your best impression of a mantis shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> so I saw one one time in my life. I've been to coral reefs around the world for years, and I've seen one. So the mantis shrimp comes out like... <laughs> Seems pretty accurate. Kate, you are a rock star. Thank you so much to Dr. Kate Furby for helping out with this video and to Dr. Maya DeVries. And one more shout out to Deep Look. They're an awesome channel on PBS Digital Studios. If you haven't seen their video about mosquitoes, it is terrifying and fascinating. I've got a link to them in the description at the end of this video. They provided all of the footage of the colorful mantis shrimp in this video, so a million thanks to them. Thank you guys so much for watching me get curious again. And Happy physicsing.